Hey guys, it's Kim Butterbones here, and we are back for another Kill Clowns from Outer Space the game. I know, I know, my background has changed. This is my room, and ignore the pink wall background, okay? Anyway, so, yes, the brand new map is the Crescent Cove Mall. It has been leaked a while back, and this is the brand new map for this a current current update for October. Uh, there's more stuff that you are going to add later on. On the 31st, they're going to add Killer Clown Cosmetics and etc. etc. I'll explain that later on in the video. If you guys want to uh, follow in my social media, support me financially, or join the Discord, they're on the description. If you guys want to see more Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game like this, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell. Without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Alrighty, so here is some of the gameplay that I'll be showing you guys. And honestly, when I was going through this entire walkthrough, oh my god, the views were absolutely beautiful. I'm just, I'm so happy what they did to this map. It's absolutely gorgeous. But anyways, I'm going to go through the patch notes of 1.6.0. The only thing I won't discuss is the bugs, uh, fixes that they did, because there are a lot. So if you want to see the bugs fixes, they're all in instagram or in their twitter page so the first things first is the new map the new map is called the crescent cove mall now i'm kind of upset that this wasn't the spaceship i honestly try to predict the spaceship will come in october because of halloween but no it's the mall so shop till you drop dead in this 80s neon retail utopia pursue through the trendy stores while you run for your life stop by the salon so you can look your best for the clown apocalypse there's no shortage of shops in terry's and entertainment as you wind through the different wings and levels of the crescent cove mall so yes this is a very big map it might not look as big from the inside that sounded so wrong, but you know what I mean. Uh, there's a lot of spots that you can hide as a human. Not only outside, but also inside the mall as well, which is kind of crazy. Now, this feels more survivor sided than how it is. But maybe if you're used to, to the map as clown, maybe you'll get used to it. But honestly, regardless if it's survivor sided or clown sided, it doesn't matter. We got a brand new map. And that's what it's mostly excited for, right? We got more new content. Now, the next thing that I'll be talking about is the human Halloween outfit pack. So originally, you only can buy this Halloween pack for $10. Now you can actually buy the pack separately. So if there's a specific skin that you want and you don't want the rest of them, now you can pay for it. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much it will cost, because I already got the entire pack myself. So if anybody knows how much it costs for per skin, let me know in the comment section. So right here, it says that players now have the option to purchase individual character cosmetics from the human Halloween outfit pack. So I assume that they're gonna do this later on for different packs as well, but for now it's the Halloween one. All right, so I'm gonna read a couple of the stuff in the changes and improvements. So in the general category, it says adjusted and improved the in-game store for readability. So it makes it easier to read now in the in-game store. Added menu UI SFX while navigating the news and shop menu. So yes, uh, now it's much easier to read and you can understand what's going on in the item shop. I call it the item shop or the, the shop menu. And honestly, it looks way better now. I hope they keep it that way. All right, now we're gonna talk about some of the patches for humans and clowns. So you can tell me in the comment section if this is more survivor sided or clown sided. I'm not gonna argue with it. I would just like to hear your opinion. So for the humans, adjusted inventory sorting so small items will now move from the big pocket inventory slot to an available small item slot when humans pick up two-handed weapons so yes so originally when you have a non two-handed weapon if you pick up a small item it will go to the big pocket now it won't do that now it'll go into the small slots instead of the big slot added support for WASD control during Lucky Duck and Out of Shape Hand of Fate minigames. So now you have more support for WASD if you're on mouse and keyboard. Now it's easier to control during the Lucky Duck and the Out of Shape Hand of Fate minigames. Added barefoot movement 
SFX for humans equipped with cosmetics that have bare feet. I don't really have to explain this. It literally says it right here. Added the ability to open doors while holding a gas can, which I don't have to explain what that means as well. All right, so we're going to talk about the human weapons. Now, there's only two things right here, but it's actually very beneficial. Reduce the attack range of all human melee weapons. So yes, for every single weapon, if you used a charged attack or just a normal swing for any weapon, it has less range now than how it was usually. Now, this is very beneficial for the clowns for sure. Adjusted human melee weapon hitboxes to prevent humans from being able to hit clowns while facing the opposite direction so yeah so now it, it's a bit harder uh for the clowns to avoid getting killed so if a clown is about to go down and if you look at a wall the human can't get you they can't get you at all now with a knife or a sharp object the only way a human can kill you from that angle is with a revolver or shotgun if a clown is looking at the wall so now what they did to buff this patch is that if you look at a wall if you're a clown and if a human downs you it's gonna force the killer clown to look at the opposite direction towards you so you can get the kill which honestly is very beneficial for the survivor if it becomes a sweaty killer clown team all right now we're gonna talk about the clowns patches so each cocoon hooked up to a lackey generator now reduces overall clown respawn timers by 1.5 seconds so let's just say your teammate as a clown dies and if you put a cocoon it will reduce the timer to 1.5 seconds so for a killer clown the timer is 45 seconds so if you put 10 cocoons it will reduce the timer by 15 seconds so the killer clown can reduce in 30 seconds instead of 45 seconds which is very very beneficial for the clowns added a respawn timer display while spectating a dead clown teammate i don't really have to say much about this because it says it here so you get to see the timer for the clowns when you spectate them lackeys will request to carry cocoons from clowns after seeing a clown carry a cocoon so originally if you want to give a cocoon to a lackey what you have to do is is pick up the cocoon and drop it on the floor and the lackey will uh just take it they will just straight up take it and they don't put it in the lackey generator which they still don't do at this current update so now what they do is they ask you permission if they can have the cocoon it's going to show a bar icon on top of their head uh, if they want to take the cocoon from you they're going to ask you permission now and now for the clown weapons there's only one but this single clown weapon buff it may be a bit broken so it's for the laser beamer slightly increased laser beamer continentization damage so originally it would take three shots to cocoon a human but the problem is that sometimes if you try to get the third shot it will have a cooldown and the cooldown wasn't as great for the laser beamer it was okay but it wasn't also the best now the laser beamer is very good when you down a player because it's a one shot and it still is so now it is currently a two-shotted weapon Yes, so as soon as you shoot the first laser beamer, automatically shoot the second one. Because if you wait, it's going to take three shots. So if you shoot the first laser beamer and the second one right away, it's going to take two hits just to cocoon a survivor. Now, if you think that's OP, imagine a whole team, three killer clowns with three of those you can literally take on in a, an entire group with it which honestly i think is very op and this laser beamer is definitely an s tier so that is everything in the patch notes now there's obviously uh patch notes that they did to fix bugs but there's a lot that i can't go through in this video but you can obviously go to their instagram or their twitter to see all the bugs fixes that they did now there are still some bugs currently for this map specifically i saw <laughs> some people uh my viewers that even go underneath the map and i've been told that sometimes they even broke their game which honestly that kind of that's kind of scary but anyways there are more stuff that are upcoming in this month so there is a thing called clown trick and sweet tricks 
or treats. It's one of them. It's uh, we're, whatever. It's one of them. But anyways, it's an event for Halloween. Of course, it's coming out on the 31st where you're able to earn clown Halloween cosmetics. Now, I recommend getting those because it is a limited time because Halloween and you probably have to earn it. Now, it's going to be free. You don't have to pay no money for it. I'm pretty sure you got to earn it. Maybe some type of Halloween challenges, which I hope they do. And I hope they decorate this map as well. And not only that, they're going to add a brand new trick into the game. Finally, they're going to add more tricks into this game. I was worried about that they're going to not add anything for the clowns at all. Maybe they'll add more weapons, tricks, and maybe more cosmetics for maybe skins for weapons. I don't know. I just hope they add more. And I just can't wait. They haven't confirmed what trick it is. So I'm so excited for that. Now, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for this absolutely amazing community. All of you are so nice. And you guys respect one another. And this game is so much fun to play with all of you. All of you literally carry this game and make the game so much fun. And I'm so glad that you guys haven't gave up on this game. So what do you think? Honestly, one of the best maps they ever added and one of the most stunning ones as well. It's like the 80s vibes type mall. And sadly, it's not the spaceship. Maybe we'll get the spaceship in November or December. Who knows? Uh, what do you guys think? Honestly, very beautiful. Tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Is the survivor sided? Kill clown sided? If you don't care about that, if you just care how it looks, tell me in the comment section as well. If you guys want to follow in my social media, support me financially, or join the Discord, they're all in the description. If you guys want to see more kill clown spider space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, helps with the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.